Welcome to Living Fuel TV. I'm Casey Krejci. This is my wife, Monica. We come to you today with a subject that should be important to everyone viewing today. It's regarding how to pick the healthy fruits and vegetables. Most of us know that we're supposed to at least eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables, and some of the agencies are now saying nine servings of fruits and vegetables, most of which uh, are vegetables, because fruits have a lot of sugar in it and it's a double-edged sword, but nevertheless. So we know to eat these things, and many of us know that pesticides and herbicides are a real problem, and genetically modified foods are also a potential uh, issue in our health. But what we don't know is, you know, which fruits are okay and which aren't, uh, how to recognize organic versus not organic versus genetically modified. So today we're going to tell you about a code called a PLU code. It's a price lookup code essentially. As you go to the grocery store, you, you know that you go through there and, you, and they have a little sticker on the, say, apples and the fruits, and they run that across the computer. And each of these fruits, they have a number on them. And the number is more revealing than just the price. So if you, if you get to look at these numbers, Monica, tell them about the numbers. Well, the ones that are conventionally grown, and we're talking about in the grocery store, you know, when you go and you're in the produce section, there's, there's the different um, codes. The first one uh, that I'll tell you about is the conventionally grown. And that means it has been raised with chemicals. Um, but for instance, a banana would be a 4011. So it's a four-digit code. Now, an organic uh, produce, a, a, an organic banana, would have a nine in front of the 4011. So um, then the genetically engineered, which, Casey, tell them about genetically engineered real fast. Well, I'll tell them the code. It has an eight in front of it, an 84011. So organic is the nine in front, and genetically engineered is the eight. But tell them what organic the genetically engineered Well, is. genetically modified foods are genetically modified seed. And normally these, like you can have a, a tomato with a, with a gene in it uh, from a salmon, for instance. So that someone that is allergic to fish could actually eat a tomato and end up with a, an issue. But so, why do they put that gene into the tomato? Well, the gene is not there for your benefit. The gene is there for the grower's benefit. So the whole goal of genetic engineering is increased crop uh, yield. So increased crop yield is diametrically opposed to your health. So I... Really, scientists don't know the long-term ramifications oh, of what... Not this genetically modification would do. There are no studies, as she said, regarding the health implications of genetically modified foods. And 70% plus of the grocers, uh, of, the, of the produce on the grocery shelf is genetically modified produce. And doesn't that include all food, even boxed food? Boxed food, for sure. All of it. For sure. So, so we encourage you to eat organic, but one of the questions we always get is, hey, I'm on a budget, how do I eat organic? So, you know what I say? I say you can't afford not to eat organic. I mean, sometimes the vegetables are not there, you know, depending on the season or whatever. But I think if you pay a little more now, then you're going to have to pay less in the future, you know, towards the end of your life. It's, it's very true. But again, you can get in situations where they're not available. At least, let's say you're on vacation yeah. and you see a bowl of apples or a bowl of fruit and you pull, pick it up. The sticker generally is still on it. So what does that sticker mean? So let's avoid the ones with the eight in the front, the genetically modified produce. Avoid that. In fact, I'd rather you skip a meal than to eat genetically modified produce. Secondly, you know, the chemicals that are put on crops, there's thousands of chemicals. And, you know, some of them cause weight gain. Some of them cause all kinds of disorders in people. Some people are more sensitive to others. Kids, pregnant mothers, the fetuses, uh, the babies that are unborn, they are very susceptible to these, these uh, pesticides. So again, when you can, avoid the produce with a four, in the, it's a four, four digit produce number with a number four in the beginning. That's just the conventionally grown. Conventionally grown. Yeah. Now, the, the, the nine <laughs> is organic. Now, anytime you get nine, you know, praise God, that is awesome, go for it. Uh, but now today, recently, a study came out by EWG that actually did a study. Now we've heard for years, here's the ones you can avoid, here's the ones you can eat that are non-organic. And so today we're going to tell you the ones that you should avoid at all costs from a, from a pesticide perspective. Because pesticide load is a cumulative load for, most, for the most part, and you get them in a lot of places, the stuff they're spraying on your lawn, the stuff they're spraying on your neighbor's lawn, the stuff that's on your vegetables and your produce and so on. So Monica, could you talk to them about what they called the dirty dozen in the yes. study? 
Well, the thing is, too, you know, when somebody gets their yard sprayed or your neighbor gets that done, you really can't do anything about that. Right. But we want to empower you to, to do something about what you can do and the choices that you can make. So this dirty dozen uh, is, the worst is celery. Um, the second one is peaches, the second worst. The, second, the third worst is strawberries. Then there's apples, blueberries, nectarines, bell peppers, spinach, kale, cherries, potato, and imported grapes. See this, so this those list, you must try to get organic avoid whenever those. you can. Yeah. Avoid those. And if you can't if get them organic, then just avoid. <laughs> and, I, and I hate to say avoid vegetables. Yeah. It's hard enough to get people to eat vegetables, and French fries doesn't count, guys. So now let's go ahead and empower them with what you actually can eat that's not organic that actually has a minimal pesticide load, okay. herbicide load. The best Both. one is onions. Number two best is avocado, then sweet corn, pineapple, mangoes, sweet peas, asparagus, kiwi, cabbage, eggplant, cantaloupe, watermelon, grapefruit, sweet potato, and honeydew melon. So those, that list is the conventionally grown uh, fruits and vegetables that are okay, okay. they're the least in pesticide load. Again, they still have a modicum amounts of pesticides, some more than others, but again, it's about minimizing the pesticides. You cannot eliminate them, it's just they're everywhere. But minimizing the pesticides that you, that you and the herbicides and chemicals that you put into your body. One other thing they want to put on the dirty dozen list or the dirty side list is conventional coffee. If it's coffee that is conventionally grown, with herbicides and pesticides, it is one of the most sprayed crops on the planet. I read so, somewhere that there was up to like 90, 90 chemicals. chemicals on the on the one crop alone. Right, on coffee crop. So mm -hmm. if you're gonna drink coffee, conventional coffee, either check out our super coffee or eat or drink organic coffee. It's very important. And you'll so, have to tell them your coffee story at a later time. Another day, that's a, that's a different uh, story for a different time. But. The, the, we, we hope today that you're able to take this information and use it. We'll give you a link to the study that we just re referenced on the site. So please come back and check it out or check it out other shows to continue to gain, empower yourself with information. God bless you and have a great day.